I'm just gonna make this video now, um, because people have been t uh, messaging me about it, um, I also watched Desert, Desert Eagle's video on it, um, it's about EDP, of course, um, and Dallas Cowboy fans, because, uh, the hates that I'm not, I, well, okay, not just Dallas Cowboy fans, a lot of other people, and I'll get to that in a second, but let me just address the first thing, um, because I'm a part of the Eagles fan base, I'm a part of the YouTube Eagles fan base, obviously, uh, <clears throat> people are, you know, people are kind of complaining, like, I've seen videos, um, from Giants fans, uh, Cowboys fans, a bunch of, bunch of different fan bases out there that have seen EDP's latest video, um, re reacting to the Dallas Cowboys losing to the Packers on Sunday night, where apparently he showed off his ass, um, from what I heard, um, and th this comes from EDP's, or, um, Desert Eagles video, I haven't watched it yet, I don't really watch his videos as often as I used to, um, and that, and I just, I uh, haven't been on YouTube lately, um, <clears throat> but, he said, uh, from what I heard, apparently, he took a Dallas Cowboys hat, rubbed it all over his nutsack, and then, on his ass, he wiped his ass with it as well. That's what I heard. I haven't seen the video yet. I don't think I want to. If that's true, um, and if it is true, which apparently it definitely is, um, I have two sides to this: one defending, one against. Obviously, the against is that he went way too far to show your bare ass on YouTube. That's kind of that's kind of ridiculous. Just to say saying it out loud, that's ridiculous. Um, and definitely not necessary and totally uncalled for and I completely understand that but you also have to understand the kind of fan he is and the kind of person he is it just he just gets crazy in the heat of the moment the hate for the Dallas Cowboys it just kind of hit him all and um apparently it just it just took over my guess I don't I don't really know what else to say about that I'm pretty sure that a lot of other people were screaming their heads off, drinking a lot, and I wouldn't say that they went so far to do that on a like on camera and then post it to the internet for it to go viral for everyone to see, <clears throat> for everyone to see. But still, it was all in the heat of the moment. Um, and as a diehard Eagles fan, seeing your division rival lose, it's probably in the playoffs. It's probably the most satisfying thing ever. Like almost two weeks ago, Green Bay beat the Packers or the Giants, and that was. Such a great win! I was so happy to see them uh, knock the Giants out, and then to see the uh, the Cowboys get knocked out the way they did. I I lost my shit too. I mean, who didn't lose it when they lost? Um, but I I do agree completely that he did go a little too overboard. Um, and yeah, I mean. It it just kind of puts a blemish on the Eagles fan base because now you look at because EDP he's at what a hundred thousand something subscribers which is for an Eagles football fan video maker that's crazy <laughs> you don't see many fan bases or fan vi um video makers out there for any fan base for any team making that much uh, or getting that many subscribers from a video or anything like that it's it's pretty pretty insane to think about <clears throat> and you um and then you see that um and for us uh eagles fan videos video makers behind him it does kind of it just doesn't look good because you're you're kind of behind this guy if you really look at it on youtube he is the most popular eagles fan out there on youtube i mean there's not that many out there that are at like what I don't think any are at fifty thousand. He's the only one up there that's in like past a hundred thousand and or past fifty thousand, I should say, um, which is crazy. And for him to do something like that on camera, upload it, and give zero regrets or anything like that, I mean, does kind of look bad. But in the end, I don't really care. For it, I feel people should just move on. Um, it's just a video. It's just a person. It's just an ass. It doesn't it doesn't make a difference to your life. Like I saw um, I saw Vape Time, a Giants fan, make a video where he um, I saw it on my on my suggestions because I'm subscribed to him. I didn't get the notification of it. I saw him 
<clears throat> and apparently he took EDP's video from like the last seven minutes from it and just showed it all the way up to when he did it. And that's just a waste of time in my opinion. You're a Giants fan. You should all just be happy that your division rival, the Cowboys, got knocked out, in my opinion. And that's what EDP was doing. Um, and I, I, I keep saying it. Yeah, I know. He went a little too far. But still, in the end, it was all because the Cowboys lost. And it does also raise a few questions that apparently we get happier. We Eagles fans get happier when the Giants and Cowboys lose in the playoffs rather than when we win or something in the playoffs, which is not the case. Uh, <clears throat> When you really look at this season, to Eagles and Redskins fans, the two teams that didn't make the playoffs, two teams that were what, a game, or a, one game to two games out of the playoffs, we were seven and nine. They were eight, six, and one. That's that's a game and a game to two and a half games out of the playoffs. You really look at it, and you just despise your two division rivals for making the playoffs, and. To see them both get knocked out, ooh, I almost dropped my camera, but to see these two teams get knocked out, that's probably the best thing for these two fan bases, and someone's going to end up going crazy doing something, and EDP was one of them, and like I keep saying, just move on. That's that's all it is. That's all I can say, because I'm seeing people <sighs> talk badly about Eagles fans, and I'm already tired of talking about it, just move on, and it looks bad to me, because I'm getting hate from Cowboys fans. I know I just made a video calling them out and how they should be quiet, but still, it's still annoying. It's still irritating to see that people um, are coming to my videos and to my channel because of what someone else did that happens to me in my same fan base, that happens to rep the same team. It just doesn't, it just doesn't make sense to me, and it's just irritating. Um, and that's what I wanted to really focus on, but clearly I didn't. <clears throat> I'm getting a lot of crap from Dallas fans for that reason, that and because I called them out uh, two days ago because they need to be quiet because they, they they do. But then Falcons fans, I'm gonna keep talking crap about you because well, even if your team wins the Super Bowl or goes to the Super Bowl, I don't care. I don't like the Falcons and I don't like that they're in the playoffs. I don't think that they're that great of a team. They have a good offense, but still, I don't like the team. I don't think that they're they're that great. Um, Green Bay, yeah, they're not that great either, but they made it as far as the Pittsburgh Steelers have made it. Um, and the Pittsburgh Steelers are Super Bowl contenders. They, well, of course, they're Super Bowl contenders, but they were, they were picked to be Super Bowl contenders. I don't think the Green Bay Packers, in my book, were going to be this close to a Super Bowl. That's just my opinion. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I'm just kind of tired of the hate, but Atlanta Falcons fans keep coming at me because I'm going to keep making videos about you guys. I can't wait to see Aaron Rodgers put you in your place just like he did Eli Manning, just like he did Dak Prescott. I can't wait for this Sunday. I just can't. Um, You'll see my picks videos this week. You'll see a lot on the Falcons, a lot on what's happening in the NFL in general with the whole Los Angeles Chargers, the LA Raiders question mark. Um... And Eagles offseason, what they got to do. I'll be making those videos later on, so please leave a thumbs up. I'll talk to you guys later. See you guys later.